In today's episode of Behind the Scene of a Spiritual Soul includes this delicious goodness. Okay, my loves, I did it! Ah! <laughs> as a part of my brand new series, The Life of a Spiritual Soul, which I am so excited to bring to you. The reason why I created If You Missed Episode 1 is to literally show you behind the scenes. What do I do when contrasts arise? How do I get myself back into vibrational alignment? And what do I do to build my YouTube channel, my social media, and my business? So, let's pop you down over here and we'll have a little chat. I hope you guys have had an amazing week. I know a lot of you, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, have experienced a lot of snow, which is absolutely baffling to me because here, I'm not sitting in the air conditioning. Yesterday, it was 31 degrees Celsius. I was like, oh my God, like Peter and I were meant to go out on a date day. It didn't happen because it was too hot to go outside. <laughs> Anyways, let me just pop you up over here. Okay, my loves, so what's happened this week? Lots of things have come up. I've had a lot of visions, which was really, really beautiful. Um, okay, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Let's start at the very beginning, a very good place to start. Um, any Sound of Music fans out there? Anyways, so the contrast that came up this week is I noticed that I have been overeating um, eating foods that are calorie dense. I've been eating a lot more potatoes. Um, I think it really just has been potatoes. And actually eating when I'm not hungry, not paying attention to my intuition. As a result of that, I feel in my body that I have put on weight. Um, which is crazy because I used to be three dress sizes bigger and I made a promise to myself a very, very long time ago that I would never get back there. I know that I won't, but it just kind of scared me a little bit, which, you know, this is part of the solar eclipse time. It's like, okay, what do you need to do to take the path of least resistance so you are nourishing your body, your mind and soul? Two things that came up was exercise and food. I, I feel like for the past four months, haven't been eating enough, maybe two months, haven't been eating enough greens. So I've been making more of an effort over the past two weeks to really up my greens, um, which is crazy because I feel like I stopped doing salads and it was just kind of like leftovers as, as you would have seen in um, episode one where I had like, what did I have for lunch? I don't know, some type of curry that I had with rice. And what I need to do is I can have that, but have a smaller portion and have more um, like salad with it. Yeah. I just noticed my body is very sensitive. And the first part that I noticed within my body if I put on weight is my stomach and my hips. Um, and so I'm just sending love to the situation where I'm at and saying, I love you, I love you, I love you. I release this feeling that I have and I set myself free. I know that I'm gonna get myself back. I already made an effort this morning to go for a walk slash run with my beautiful fiance, Peter. Um, and I'm just now thinking like, as soon as I get up, instead of getting on social media, get up and get out of the house because I can work in this house for like three days without going outside. I think that's the life of an entrepreneur. You get so caught up. It's a very isolating life. Um, it's like you have this 
massive fan base following you and you chat with people online and you're like, oh my God, I'm really helping them. But it's like, okay, you need to find the balance and that's what I'm striving for. Anyway, so I'm exercising. Um, I'm, I'm exercising more. I knew that this was something that I needed to do to prep my mind for success, for creating the video program, for working out how on earth to create a membership site. I have no idea. Um, but I'm sure my angels are going to guide me through the process, which is so beautiful. Or maybe it's a video program. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of 50 50. I did two polls one on YouTube and one on my Instagram stories. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. So I'm, yeah, so I'm exercising and eating right, mainly for my mind. So my mental strength is there, which in turn will help me to work smarter and not harder in my business. Another thing that happened this week, oh my gosh, this, do you believe it's only been a week since I've chatted to you guys? Oh my God. So the other thing that came up this week is I had somebody email me asking me for one-on-one -on -one coaching. And I've had so many emails in the past, people saying, Mel, I would love for you to coach me. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry, love, but I don't offer those services. You're welcome to book a private reading to give you 30 minutes of detailed clarity. And then it actually occurred to me that some people just want to speak to me. And I was like, oh, that's kind of crazy. But it's like, yes. So what I've done this week is I have created a schedule um, where I'm going to be taking one-on-one -on -one clients just on a Thursday morning. So I had to work out how to build that. I built my first sales page, which I'm so excited about, which I will show you later. Um, yeah, so today's an admin day. Lots going on. I was meant to go to a dentist, but two synchronicities came up this morning. How crazy is this? Peter actually left this morning with my bus card. I'm not too sure if you know. Um, we sold our car just before Christmas because we got a really, really good price for the car and we are looking to buy a camper van so we can be more in touch with nature and when Peter is off, we can just take off, be in mother nature um, and you know, work and explore and just be in mother nature. We are very much connected with the cycles of nature and I don't know, it just makes you feel good and mother nature is literally vibrating on the frequency of love so who wouldn't want to be there? Um, crazy. Anyway, so I was meant to go to the dentist today. It didn't happen. Peter took my bus card and then my dentist, the receptionist at the dentist's office called and said, your appointment has been rescheduled. Your dentist is sick today. I was like, okay, I'm obviously not meant to go, but I feel like I need to go out in the afternoon, maybe work in my favorite cafe. So yeah, I don't know. Sometimes you just have to go outside as an entrepreneur because I can as I've said before, it's so easy to stay at home, but I'm trying to program my mind for success and change up my day. I think it's really beautiful that I can share this with you because if you are an entrepreneur, you understand what the flip I'm talking about. It's a beautiful journey and I know that I'm gonna be successful. I know that I'm gonna have consistent income. I know that I'm gonna be making a difference with this new venture that my business is going in for one-on-one -on -one coaching and the membership site. I know that that's where it's going to go, um, but I'm just feeling like I have to step it up. Stepping up in my business, I need to step it up in every other area of my life, if that makes sense. Anyway, so, so let me show you what I'm working on this morning. I'm actually recording a video for Forgiveness Heals, because I've, I've had some people message me recently who have purchased it and have had troubles downloading it, so I'm gonna make a video with my fabulous new mic to do the voiceover for it, to give them a screen flow to say, okay, this is exactly what you're going to expect after you purchase it. Oh my gosh, let me show you what else I created. Um, this, I'm so proud of this. This is when you know that you're in the flow. This is the one-on-one -on -one coaching that I'm, this is a page that I created the other day. And I'm like, oh my God, I made this. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but let me just show you, it just looks so good. Yes. So that's what I made. Anyway, so then that links with my scheduling platform. So then you can book in a time that works truly best for you. You know, like, dude, I made that. Yes. I think what's really, really beautiful, as you take inspired action in sync with the different moon cycles, things just, just blow your mind. I was up until midnight 
creating this page and working out how do you create a schedule that links in with this and then when they book a call they get a link to your zoom account and then they get reminder emails and they get a follow-up email i'm like i created this you know it's just like as an entrepreneur you figure shit out like all the time anyway so i'm going to go and do that today i'm also going to be contacting a few um companies that i would love to work with and feature them in here um yeah see if i can show you some more delicious goodness and yeah today's basically like an admin day going through updating my products page now I'm just sitting down having some lunch and just about to watch YouTube but before I do that I'm trying to work out how to add an add, add to cart button on my website because I have changed my forgiveness heels I'm actually going to be moving my whole shop um, to I don't know another site because I'm not happy with using Squarespace so I've actually changed this page um, and now when you click on it you can actually hear my forgiveness heels visualization as soon as you go onto the website and this is what else I've done I want to begin today by letting you know how proud so I've just given you an extra 1 minute 30 to run you down with how Forgiveness Seals works. Then I've changed this, added this, and now I'm trying to work out how to put a button here that links you back to this button, but I haven't yet worked out how to do that. So that's what I'm doing. It's just like, I just feel like the entrepreneurial journey is just all about constantly learning. It's like every day I come across something and I have no idea. I have letters in my teeth. Yeah, down the back. <laughs> I have no idea how to do something and I'm literally going to Google and say, how do I do this? And usually somebody else is struggling with the same thing as me and then I sort it out. But that's been the whole day. So it is already 12.35. I've had the aircon on all morning. It's been freezing. I've just turned it off now because it's on 22 degrees. So, yeah, some days are not eventful and this is one of them, but I, I want you to see the importance that, you know, some days you just, it is admin work and there's lots of things. It's, it's not like a fun, like filming day. It's just behind the scenes and it's like you wear so many different hats. It's like, I'm customer service. I'm a web designer. I'm a graphic designer. I'm a videographer, I'm an editor. It's like, there's so many different things and it's just like, when you're in alignment, you know, you're doing your self-love practices, you literally ask your angels for help and they're like, okay, we're gonna send you this. That's why I think it's so important to do those self-love practices in the morning so things become a lot easier and your day starts to flow with ease. Anyway, so I'm just gonna have a little break. Okay, my loves, I did it. I found the button. Have a look at the site now. So I have this button here. Oh my gosh, that was um, a lot to learn how to get that button there, but I'm super excited. All right, my loves. Now at three o'clock each day that I am working, I check my emails and I leave it to this time of the day because number one, I don't, I want my creativity to flow in the morning and then in the afternoon I kind of pick it up. So it's 3.07 at the moment. I just received an email from Eugene. Now, Eugene actually um, saw her name come up in episode one as a part of this Life of a Spiritual Soul series, um, where all of the names came up of every single person who had purchased something within my shop. Um, and she purchased the Forgiveness Heals Guide of Visualization. She listened to it, had incredible results. She wrote me the most flipping amazing review. It will be live on my site. Anyways, one part in the email she just sent me, she just said, you helped me to transform my life in ways I never thought were even possible. 
that there is literally priceless like it just makes me feel amazing and every single time I receive emails like this it doesn't get old it just makes me feel like I am on the right path I am doing the right thing everything that I'm doing is literally coming from a place of love and in turn I am creating products and services to help you release that pain so you can vibrate in the frequency of love and in that state you can love yourself flaws and all trust your intuition and manifest your dream life speaking of manifesting your dream life Eugene has just said that ever since she found my channel and was learning about the law of attraction she actually has manifested some really beautiful things. She had a lot of issues in regards to her health and now that is going really well. She stepped into her power. She released a relationship that didn't serve her. Um, yeah, and someone that she was super interested in, that she didn't think she was interested in and then when she th went to like tune into her intuition, he texted her the moment she released the ex. It's just incredible. So there are no words to describe how much this has helped me. She's talking about forgiveness heals guided visualization. The first time I listened to Mel's visualization, I could not stop crying, but it wasn't sad at all. I was in peace. I released all the tension I've held back for such a long time. It was amazing. After I've been listening to it for quite often and my life has changed for the good. I love Mel and everything that she does for us. It's like, I have no words. I literally have no words. Like, and it's crazy that I'm literally working on the sales page for Forgiveness Heals. And it, she, her email came at the perfect time. Like that's another synchronicity because I was like, okay, I really need to update those ones, the reviews. Cause I know Justin has written me review and I haven't actually put his review on the site yet. Any single, any one of you out there that is literally has made a decision that today you're going to do something to raise your vibration um, and make you feel amazing. I don't care if it's as simple as like you get out of bed and you, and you put on fresh clothes, you know, that could be a massive step in the right direction for you, especially if you're going through depression or if you, um, you know, uh, I don't know, you, you found the courage to, um, I don't know if you're in business, contact someone that you want to collab with and you, you took that step, you took that inspired action. Like, any single, any one of you making that decision to better yourself, I am proud of you. And that's what it's all about, making things simple. So oh, I'm going to write back to Eugene and yes, actually, I think I'm going to have a cup of tea first. It's three o'clock and let's be honest, if you watched my reading for Sunday, the weekly angel guidance, I spoke about the caffeine free card. And so yesterday I just... I had one cup of black tea and then the rest were herbal. Um, so I haven't had any tea today, actually. That's crazy. It's three o'clock and I haven't even had any tea. So I'm gonna make myself a stovetop chai tea latte, which is my favorite in the whole wide world. And I'm not going caffeine free yet. I, I don't know if I could, unless I find a caffeine free chai tea because I love chai. And that is a self-love practice to me. I just have to be very mindful about how much I'm having. All right, my loves, it's official. I've finally worked out. Oh my gosh, I had so many issues today. I've added my testimonials from, oh, let's wow. just turn that up. So, there we go, there's my beautiful Eugene and Justin. Read their testimonials, like Justin's just like melted me. And same with Eugene, like both of them were drawn to tears and it's so beautiful to read how you went with this. Like, I don't know unless you tell me. So I would absolutely love for any of you that have purchased Forgiveness Heals, please write a review because I would absolutely love to feature you because your review could be the reason somebody is like, I can do this too. If Eugene and Justin can do this, then, you know, maybe I'm gonna feel relief too. This is my MK Love fam, what? 
So that page took me a whole flipping day. But it looks so good. And you know what? I haven't updated my shop since I launched my business like four months ago. And I'm pretty happy with it. So if you want your beautiful face on this page, make sure you fill out the, um, there's a link as soon as you log into the members area of your forgiveness heels, um, there will be a big massive picture which says share the love. Click on that and fill out the form and then I'll be able to write you back. It just makes me feel like you guys are real when I see, when I hear your feedback and I see your beautiful faces. So anyways, it is, um, what time is it now? It is now 5.50, so Peter still won't be back for another hour. He's a little bit delayed more so because it takes an hour to get home on the bus instead of 15 minutes by car. All right, my loves, Peter's gonna be home any moment. I can hear him coming up the stairs, so I'm actually gonna hide in the cupboard and scare him and see if we can catch his reaction on camera. So, let's go. episode two as a part of my brand new series the life of a spiritual soul if you have enjoyed today's video give me a big thumbs up and comment below and let me know what was your favorite part if you have any suggestions as to what you'd like to see in next week's episode then just comment below that as well anyways my love i hope you're having an amazing day wherever you're around the world and i hope this vlog has lifted you up made you feel a little bit happier raise your vibration and I'll see you on Sunday for Weekly Angel Guides. Love you. Goodbye.